So, in today's video guys, I'm about to show you the best registry tweaks, which I made myself in order to boost your FPS. I'm not only going to show you the registry tweaks, but also how to optimize your GPU, and how to get zero ping, and lower input delay in any game, so hit that subscribe button for more content. Let's dive into the video. Gear Up Booster is one of the best programs for the optimization of your ping while you play games using your wired or wireless connection. So get this paid program free from my description and play your game with lower ping. In first step guys, I want you to go into and Windows just simply search type in that until game. you can find game mode. And once it's open up guys, it should look exactly like Here this. Here you will see now first of all, the option to actually turn on the game mode guys. And I would highly recommend you to do this one. It has improved a lot over the last few updates guys. And it's definitely really good to reduce input When delay. game mode is on Windows, optimizes your PC it already Says. And then we're gonna go over to graphics. And in here now, we have hardware X rated GPU. Reduce schedule. latency and improve performance. But you have to reset your PC if you want the changes to actually take effect. So, we're gonna enable it in the first place. And once place. you're done with this, you know, guys, all you gotta do is reset your and PC. And you're gonna have hardware X rated GPS scheduling enabled and D game which mode. Which is gonna boost your FPS a lot. And actually improve your input. The life when comes down to Fortnite as so well. So, first go to my website. I give link in description and download the FPS boost pack from here. In the second place now guys, I actually made myself a whole entire tool, which basically allows you to clean any sort of temporary data from your PC this is how the tool looks like, and you can get it on my official website guys, link to it in the description, and I would highly appreciate if you could leave a like and subscribe guys, because this actually took some time to code. We have basically options to delete any sort of temporary data, you can see here, we have a bunch of options in this menu here. First of all temporary files, even clear specific browser cache. And the coolest part about it is, I even coded internet that you can select directly, your browser guide. There's some very important ones, and a little bit less important ones, but I try to include everything, which you can somehow delete from your PC. In order to speed it up, the most important ones are of course temporary files. Then, we have something like old Windows update Prefect cache. files also, super important that you'll delete these once in a while. And then, we of course, also have memory Windows dump files. delivery optimization files, and Dowd exchange cache. These free here on the bottom guys often can be interrupted, actually causing you a lot of stutter. And what's not the coolest part about it, you is, can just simply type in exactly the number which is next to it, and it's gonna automatically clean it from your PC. But just as an example, that you wanna clean your cache down, once in a while, which you should definitely do, you can just simply click under dial nine. X shader cache cleared. Press any key to continue. You're good to go. Then let's say you want to clean up your prefetch files. You can just simply type in the 4. Press enter and you can see guys. Everything has been deleted. So therefore it's super easy accessible. You can just simply scroll through this menu basically. And type in that the numbers. And what I would highly recommend Is to you. simply keep this tool on your PC. Because this is the best way to actually clean cache. From your PC like this. Something. Which I want to give you guys for app. Just as free. a quick. Thank you for surpassing 100,000 subscribers. I haven't really made a special. So therefore I thought may be something like this cool. here might be awesome for you. So therefore, just simply keep it on your desktop guys and yeah, you can just use it whenever you need So it. now run the NVIDIA inspector. And once you know in the profile itself, you're gonna guys, go into this top and bar. type in the Fortnite until you can actually select it. Press enter and then you can see Fortnite Windows plans. 60 for shipping exit and it should be marked green. Once you can see that's actually loaded up correctly, you're gonna click in. Now under import user defined profiles, you're going to open it up. Click on the import profile and then you can see zero delay profile. Bio stripes open it up guys, and then it should say something like profile, successfully imported and then you can see, all of the best settings are already applied, and as well a small change actually under texture, full drain, which is gonna result in a little bit less empathylate, because the game is gonna look a tiny bit worse, this is actually what Asian, Jeff and many other pros apply recently, you can see it guys led by as the X on plus 03. 750 NT same as well for low to bias. OGL just in blue. Make sure that these are matching and then as well. And using transparency. Super sampling should be on AA mode. Replay mode. This is exactly what it should say. And then also course, scroll up. And you're gonna make sure that under frame rate let you apply exactly which FPS you basically use on your PC. For me since I'm using a 360 hertz monitor, I usually put it here to 357. But this is also something to do with the fact that my monitor is sync compatible. You can try it out for yourself, either 357, or 360, or 247 and to 40. If you guys get the whole point, either lock it to your direct monitor hertz, or go free FPS underneath. Try it both and trust me, this will make a huge difference. Once you applied this entire profile, and the only extra take, which I also want to give for you the guys, ultra low latency mode, either put it on on, or ultra guys. This actually makes a huge difference, and tons of pros are still arguing about, which one feels better for me, it's ultra guys. So therefore you try this one, and then, just simply click under applied changes, and you're good to go. This 
this is gonna make your Fortnite look super low. Detailed. As you can see right now in the background guys. Trust me the input delay is actually insane. When it comes down to using this profile. If for some reason you feel like you don't want to use it anymore guys. You can also just go back here. into the NVIDIA profile and load up Fortnite and then click under this small icon which says restore code profile to NVIDIA default. But keep in mind you have then again. Go into the media control panel and apply everything manually or here in the tool itself but of course in here it's a little bit more complicated so therefore the media control panel has less options but it's kind of like easier to use for people in the next step i'm gonna recommend you the gear up booster which you can trade for absolutely with the free. link in description just make sure that you launch the tool and select fortnite and it's gonna automatically find for you the best dns server in your near for the least amount of latency as you can see i only get 11 milliseconds latency, which is giving me already a huge improvement of over 100 percent i've been using this for any game which i'm playing here right now on my pc the best part about it is it's also searching actively in the background while you're actually playing for the best dns service it's consistently also you showing you the connection between your PC and the router and the router and the actual game server so therefore as mentioned make sure to check it out with the link in description Next up, guys. also made a specific folder with all of the best which quakes. you can enable on basically any Windows PC and you can already see guys I basically did them all myself really making sure that I put in everything which is somewhere important for you guys you can see here especially disable a nasty background processors guys. and in here now we have a bunch of stuff basically what most of these they do? basically fully disable it for Microsoft to collect data from your PC something like disable Cortana which is the cloud service built into Microsoft, which is actually super hard recommending, especially under performance visual. You can see guys directly. That's gonna basically put your visual effect to the lowest possible setting. And as well the same with the optimal layout, which is basically another function, which is kind of making a little bit prettier. But overall, they're pretty hardware demanding. These are some very basic tweaks, but yes. definitely make sure to apply all but of these. But just some here. V double clicking on Then you it. should see that the registry editor is gonna ask you for and permission. And then you can apply these tweaks. Make sure that you go through all and of them. And you should be already good in this to go. next step now. We're guys. going to take a look at the MSI Utility version tool. 3. Right click onto it and run it as administrator. Wanna make sure that you look for your specific GPU. On this PC, bolt. I'm running right near your Optics 40. 60, which as most of you guys is might one know. of NVIDIA's latest GPUs. But actually, most GPUs from recent years support. But actually, most GPUs from recent years support the MIS-I mode. So therefore, what you want to do is make guys, sure you go here under MIS-I and make sure that for your GPU, this here is actually check. You can actually check it here by supported mode. And if it says MIS-I, this exactly what you want to use. Has nothing to do with MIS-I B brand itself, guys. Keep this in mind, MIS-I is only short form for specific mode, which basically allows your GPU and CPU to communicate resulting faster, in less input delay and higher performance overall. Also here under interrupt priority, you gotta make sure that you put this You're one. actually onto normal, guys. Don't put it on high as most people say here on YouTube. Actually put it on normal and then click apply. This will immediately give you way better performance. In Fortnite Chapter 5, just simply hop in game. and you will definitely notice the difference.